This video is an introduction to probability distributions. Um, so in this example, uh, the following table was constructed using data from the first 29 World Cups, male and female. A World Cup tournament is randomly chosen. Let x equal the number of goals that were scored by the winning team in the championship game. So that's what the values of x. So either zero goals were scored, one goal, two, three, four, or five. And down here in the probability distribution, we see that the probability um, that if we randomly selected one of the 29 teams, these are the probabilities um, that the team would have scored, say, zero goals. This is the probability the team scored one goal, um, etc. So what we want to do is just answer um, some basic questions using the probability distribution. Before we start, I want to just point out that um, x here uh, is our random variable. So our random variable can take the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, and the, the value of our random variable is determined by chance. Okay, so whatever uh, game we randomly select. Uh, I also want to point out that two of the conditions uh, for probability distributions are met. So each of these numbers are indeed probabilities because they are numbers that are between uh, 0 and 1. Okay, And if you were to add up these six numbers, um, the total would be 1. Okay, there might be some rounding involved, and so it might be slightly different from one, but the sum of these six numbers is one. So this is indeed a probability distribution for our random variable x. So here's our first question. Um, we want to find the probability that four goals were scored. In other words, if I randomly select one World Cup game from the 29, what is the probability that there were exactly four goals scored in that game? Um, so I'm going to write this using the probability notation. The probability, um, the value of my random variable is four is equal to, um, the probability distribution makes that very easy to determine. Um, the probability four goals were scored um, is 0 0.1724. Okay, here's our second question, part B. Um, find the probability that more than three goals were scored. So more than three, that is telling me four or five goals. Okay, so let me write that using probability notation. Um, so the probability that x is greater than 3, that's strictly greater, um, that is equal to the probability that x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 5. And now since these events are disjoint, um, meaning I can't uh, randomly select a game and, um, you know, both four goals were scored and five goals were scored by the winning team. So these are disjoint events, uh, which means I can use the addition rule, okay, uh, for disjoint events. And the or is what tips me off to use the addition rule. So uh, here I'm going to add the probability that there were four goals scored to the probability that there were five goals scored. So that is equal to 0 0.1724, which I can see by looking here. And I'm going to add that to the probability that five goals were scored. Okay, so there's about a 24% chance um, that more than three goals were scored um, during that game. For part C, um, we want to find the probability that zero goals were scored given that fewer than two goals were scored. So we want to find the probability zero goals were scored if it's known that fewer than two goals were scored. So let me write that statement in probability notation. We have what is the probability that zero goals were scored given that fewer 
then two goals were scored. So that's a strictly less than two. And if you recall, this is what we call a conditional probability, okay? And we do have a formula for that. Um, you don't have to use a formula if you can figure this out in a different way, but I'm gonna use the formula. And the formula tells me that I'm gonna, um, um, to find the conditional probability, I, I want to know when both of these events occur. So that would be um, x equals zero and uh, x is less than two. And I'm gonna divide that by the probability that the, um, the given event occurs. So the probability that x is strictly less than two. Um, so when do both of these occur? The x is equal to zero and x is less than two. Well, that only occurs when x is equal to zero. So here we have um, the probability that x is equal to zero. And um, over here, what is the probability x is less than two? Well, that occurs when x, uh, x is either equal to zero um, or when x is equal to 1. So I'm just going to use the addition rule for disjoint events, and I'm going to uh, write that as the sum of these two probabilities. So that is equivalent to when x is less, strictly less than 2. So let's fill in our probabilities here. What is the probability x is equal to 0? It's 0 0.0690. And let's calculate the probability uh, that x is equal to 0 plus x equal to 1. So that's the sum of these two. Okay, and I'm going to round this to four decimal places. Okay, so there is about a 33% chance um, that there were zero goals scored if I am given that there were fewer than two goals. So again, that's conditional probability, and here is the conditional probability formula. Another common question you'll find with probability distributions is to compute the mean of the probability distribution. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, the formula for the mean that we have is uh, we're going to take the sum okay, of the products of the values of our random variable um, with the probability. Okay, so for instance, I'm going to start with the um, first value of x, which is 0. So that's x, and then this is the probability that x is equal to 0. So this formula is telling me to start there, and I'm going to multiply 0 times 0 0.0690. Okay, and then this is telling me to add. And then I'm going to move along to the second value, which is 1. Okay, then we're going to um, multiply 1 times the probability that we randomly select a team that scored, uh, or a world tournament where one goal was scored. And then I move on uh, to Okay, so I didn't want to bore you with all that, um, but if I add uh, the, if I calculate these products and then I add this all up, I get uh, 2.4828. So that is the mean of my probability distribution. So what that basically means is that if I was to uh, keep randomly choosing um, world cup tournaments, then over the long run, the average of all my choices would be um, about 2.4828 goals. Here's another frequently asked question. Um, in this case, for E, we want to compute the standard deviation of the probability distribution. Okay, and then we're going to interpret it. So let me show you the formula. So what would that look like? 
Uh, so let me give myself a lot of space to do that. Um, and I'm going to start again with my first value, 0, the random variable. And I'm just going to show you what this expression looks like when x is 0. So that would be 0 uh, minus the mean, which was 2.4828. Uh, and then we take the, we subtract, we square it, and we multiply it by the probability of 0. So 0 0.0690. And then we're going to add, uh, and then we're going to move along and do that for x equal 1. So I have 1 minus the mean of my probability distribution. I square it, and I'm, then I'm going to multiply it by the probability of randomly selecting a tournament where the score was 1. And I just continue in this fashion. I'm not going to, I don't want to bore you, so I'm not going to do all of them. Um, let's stop here. Let's just do the last one, show you how to do that one. And the probability of... Okay, now if you add all that up, uh, you will get the number 1.698304, etc. And if you take the square root, you get 1.03. 1.303189, etc. And I'm just going to round four decimal places. And that would be my standard deviation, my probability distribution. Um, and how do I interpret that? Well, this is saying that um, the typical number um, of goals scored on average is about 1.3 goals away from the mean. Okay, so, so on average, the typical number of goals that's scored is about 1.3 away from 2.4 goals.